Okay, this is the cruise control for an 80s, late 80s Ford Escort. I've laid all the appendages out appropriately so that when I'm putting this back together, I might know how it goes. <clears throat> While it's fresh in my mind, I'm going to re review. This, coming off the side here, is the main vacuum input to the cruise control module. It goes into what I call the Christmas tree, but it's the divider with all the different pipes to supply vacuum to it. It sits like this in the car for reference on the uh, driver's side front strut mount. <clears throat> this wraps around to be in somewhat of this position and uh, this goes to the throttle linkage. It's adjustable with that clip and connects to the throttle um, ball at the end of the linkage with, oops, sorry, that clip. <clears throat> This is some sort of vacuum um, port over from side to side. I'm not concerned with it. This vacuum line here is an important one. It goes through the firewall with that grommet and then goes up to the brake pedal. When this is depressed, no vacuum or no air can flow. When it's um, in its relaxed state, the brake pedal being not pressed, it is actually allowing air to flow. <clears throat> so there's atmosphere pressure on this side. That's a clip that goes over the brake pedal mechanism. That circle slides over the mount that connects the pedal to the booster. And this clip here, or this metal bracket rather, the L, with that hole attaches to pre-existing um, brake stoplight switches. This bit here is the wiring loom. You have a single connector here goes over, clips to that but is not attached. That's a ground wire that goes to the fender, goes over, goes to the firewall here. On the inside of the firewall you have one connector that goes down to a series of little connectors by the brake stoplight switch. That half of the wiring loom is still on the car. On this, this goes down to the speedometer, um, the mechanical speedometer cable. There's some sort of a little electric readout just for this on the models of the cruise control. Um, it, it goes in between the, the uh, traditional speedometer cable and the tranny, so that piece will have to be pulled later. Um, now that I've seen all the parts and how they're laid out, this is what it looks like. Attaches to the strut, the uh, driver's side strut, front strut with these two bolts and two pre-drilled holes. Um, and that's really about it for it for the car module. Steering wheel, pulled that as well, nothing special. Um, uses two wires for cruise, one for horn. Uh, it does this by assigning dis different resistor values for each switch. By the way, these buttons feel really nice. Um, but each, each different button has a different resistor value and it will know based upon that what, uh, what I'm asking of it. And uh, that's, that's all for that. Uh, the things that are still in the car, because this was pulled off of a five-speed manual tranny car, uh, some sort of connector on this, on this end of the connector here, it branched off a different, different, couple different ways. A connector that goes to a switch on the clutch, which I'm probably not going to use. I just need to figure out if it's naturally open or naturally closed. Uh, it goes to the brake stop switch, which I'll have to pull later. It also goes to um, a loom that goes somewhere back in the dash, and it goes to the loom that goes up to this through the steering column. But this is, in recap, a cruise control module for a late 80s Ford Escort. If anyone has any information about how to install this or uh, helpful tips for installing it, um, if it'll work on an automatic, even though it was pulled off of a manual, I mean, if I try hard enough, it'll work. But And as well as if I have to change out my ECU, uh, just let me know. But uh, that, that's about it.